We've been looking a lot at mobile app development, and for an example, I've used Android programming. But in this presentation, I want to look at an alternative that's definitely a very viable alternative, especially for someone who doesn't have a whole lot of programming experience. We know that Android and iPhone are both pretty popular right now, and if you see an app that's available on one, there's a good chance it's available on the other. The challenge is that these two operating environments are very proprietary. So a program written for Android can't be run on a non-Android phone. A program written for iPhone can't be run on a non-iPhone. And so we find a dilemma as developers. A lot of times we have to develop something multiple times, one for each audience we wish to reach. Uh, Android and then iPhone and maybe Windows and maybe Blackberry, depending on how many audiences we want to reach. There's an alternative, which is called Cordova or PhoneGap, which takes HTML and JavaScript, which honestly are two very straightforward, uh, well, formatting and programming language or styling and programming language that a lot of people know because it's what we use to build web pages. The nice thing about this is not only does it have a simple skill set, but when you write an app in Cordova, you can build it for other platforms. So you do have to do a native build. In other words, you do have to do an Android build or an iPhone build or a Windows build. But the uh, core of the application that you write in HTML and JavaScript is reusable across all of these platforms. So this is an excellent option for a lot of mobile app projects, uh, especially those that maybe want to support different application operating systems, uh, you only want to write a program once, or you're new to programming. And what's interesting is that you can write a program for just about any platform with Cordova. I've tried, I've tried it with Android. I've also tried it with Windows Phone. And I can tell you what's interesting is it's very easy to do for Windows Phone. Uh, if you're thinking of doing Windows Phone development or Cordova development, uh, think very seriously about doing most of the work with Visual Studio, and then you can move it over to Android or iPhone later and do a native build there. Uh, it's something definitely worth considering. Okay, so to do, uh, to do a, a Cordova app in Windows Phone, what you have to do is get this Cordova zip. Now, I did this uh, about a year ago, so there's probably newer ones available now. But put it under your folder, then My Documents, Visual Studio, whatever version you have, templates, and then project templates. You can download this zip from the Cordova website and then just drop it in there. After that, it's pretty much all you need to do to configure, which is why I say it's really easy in Visual Studio. Uh, much easier than I found it was for um, Android or anything else. It's certainly doable in Android, just takes a few extra steps. Once you've done that, in Visual Studio, you can choose File, and then New Project. And uh, one of the options that will appear is a Cordova project. And here we are with Cordova WP7270. OK, we start a new Cordova project just like so. Now, I've already started one, and I am going to debug it. Uh, to debug, I simply go to debug and start debugging. And again, the emulator that comes up is quick and responsive. Uh, I know there are a lot of complaints about the Android emulator, but this one honestly comes up uh, relatively quickly. So this is a Windows Phone emulator because we are using a Windows development environment. While that is loading, uh, I'll show this is the page where we're doing a capture the camera. We're using the camera to capture an image, rather. And if you take a look, this is programming code, but it is JavaScript. Uh, and it's using a series of JavaScript libraries that are pretty straightforward. So uh, JavaScript program, capture photo edit, uh, navigator.camera.getPicture, and then we pass in some parameters. Easy as that. Just a few lines required to toggle the photo. And then uh, get the photo source, you see. And then the formatting, the layout, is all just HTML. So if you've done web development before, this might be a good way to get your feet wet.
Now if we look in uh, to the right, what we'll see here is our Solution Explorer, which is, uh, and again, this is Visual Studio, which is Microsoft's IDE, uh, similar to Eclipse, but this is for a lot of the .NET languages like C Sharp and VB.NET. And most Windows phones are written, most Windows phone apps are written in C Sharp. So this is a C Sharp Cordova app. Uh, what you'll see here is a www directory and this contains all of the images and the styles, the CSS, and the JavaScript libraries and the HTML pages that make up our application. So if we wanted to deploy this on Android, we simply copy over the www folder to an Android app. If we want to demonstrate, if we want to run it on iPhone, we take the www folder, move it over to uh, Xcode, or move it over to uh, whatever development environment we're using for for uh, iPhone, and then we can build the application from there. As a matter of fact, I have thought about doing a plant places for iPhone by developing it all in Visual Studio for Windows Phone. Go ahead and release it for Windows Phone. Uh, and then I don't own a Mac, so what I could do is I could take that www directory, www directory, take it down to campus in one of our Mac labs, go ahead and build the app there, and then and then release it from there. So I've actually thought about doing that, but um, just simple HTML, nothing special. Uh, let's say we were looking at the camera page. Uh, we could. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the emulator, which has come up here, and naturally there's a little more. You know, I could make this look a bit fancier, but this is just an HTML page with an image behind it. If I hit search by color, it takes me to this next screen with capture photo from photo library from photo album. I could say from photo library. And what this does now is it brings up a camera view, or a gallery view rather. I can click in the gallery, and I can click on a photo, and there we go. Now I don't have the entire search by color wired up in this application like I do in, in the real Plant Places mobile on Android, but this is a start. So you see with just a few lines of JavaScript, it's very easy to go out and access the photos that are stored on the SD card. It's easy to uh, capture a photo with the camera. Okay, so here's our camera and I can just click for a photo and it will let me accept it. Okay, and there we go. That's showing me a little thumbnail of the photo that I just took. Now, of course, this is an emulator, not a live device, so uh, it just shows that, you know, not an actual photo. But um, all of that and not a whole lot of HTML. So just like we would normally have with HTML, we have our front page the search by color button, GPS a plant button, and if you're familiar at all with HTML, uh, those are HTML tags and they're representing the view that we have here. Here's our search by color button and GPS a plant. Search by color, GPS a plant. We have each of those invoking a JavaScript method. Search by color simply moves us to the camera.html page. GPS a plant moves us to the location uh, HTML page. So here we go place where we can GPS a plant just like so. So a quick way to throw an app together. So that's Cordova, a lot of potential there, and I hear quite a bit of interest in that. A lot of people looking to hire Cordova professionals. So uh, could be a lot of growth there. So iOS, we know it's a tax, tax, tech savvy crowd with a large user base, but requires a Mac to develop. Um, and a very saturated market, a lot of stuff out there for iOS. Android also attacks tech savvy crowd with a large user base, but a lot of different devices we have to consider, a lot of different resolution. Now the others like Windows Phone, uh, there's lots of market space available because there aren't many apps there. Uh, but the trick is that there are a lot of different platforms. And this is where we want to think about Cordova as a nice way to build a platform independent, uh, a platform independent app. So for Cordova, Cordova itself is free. Uh, for, the, for the individual operating systems like um, iPhone, you're still going to need your Xcode. For Eclipse or for Android, you're still going to need Eclipse. For Windows development, uh, you're going to need Visual Studio, which uh, as a student at UC, you can get that for free. As a matter of fact, most people can get their Express editions for free and an Express Edition is basically a copy of Visual Studio 
that is meant to do pretty much one thing, like a C-sharp express edition or a Visual Basic Express. So as a UC student, you can go to ceth.uc.edu slash IT slash current students slash Microsoft Software HTML. And you can go in here to get Visual Studio. Uh, and then just, uh, you know, just do a Google search for Cordova and you can get the Cordova zip. Try them both together. It's worth a shot. Uh, probably it'd be easier when you're searching, instead of getting this whole site, just uc.edu space msdnaa. It's probably an easier way to find that site and then scroll on down and, and grab it uh, right here where you see CECH. So something worth trying out, uh, and I know it's something that we use at UC when we are making uh, mobile apps. So I hope you find this useful. In our next video, I'm going to describe our assignments that are due this semester. And then in a much later video, we will talk about quality guidelines. Thank you.